we concluded the previous video with a new term. It's called the human dentition. Any idea what it could mean? Something related to teeth, I know. But what exactly is it? Let's understand the definition of human dentition first. It's defined as the study of the teeth pattern and their functions in humans. Okay, so what we've been studying so far is dentition? Somewhat yes. We have studied a few concepts related to teeth and now we learn a few more. Technically, dentition is the characteristic arrangement, kind and number of teeth in a given species at a given age. That means, in a particular species, how the teeth are arranged, what are the characteristic features of those teeth, like the size, shape and so on, and also how many teeth in total are present is what the dentition tells us. Can you tell me how many teeth do we humans have? The instant answer we give is 32. But is that really the case with all? Let's find that out. Humans, like other mammals, are diphyodont. And what does that mean? Diphyodont, in simple words, means having two sets of teeth. And does that refer to the teeth on both upper and the lower jaws? Nope, absolutely not. Humans have two sets of teeth. One is the deciduous and the other is the permanent set of teeth. Now what are these exactly? We know that a few months after birth, a set of teeth begin to appear in the baby. These teeth are called the baby teeth or the milk teeth or the primary or even the deciduous teeth. After these teeth fall away, the next set of permanent teeth begin to appear. So the primary and then the permanent are the two sets of teeth in the life of humans, due to which we are called diphyodont. And what's the number of these teeth? Well, the milk teeth are usually 20 in number and the growth of the entire set of these teeth is generally completed by the time a child is 2 or 3 years old. The next set of permanent teeth that starts developing is at around 5 years of age. The 20 milk teeth are later replaced by around 32 permanent teeth. Yes, the 32 teeth that we usually talk about. Now can you tell me the number of each type of teeth? Is it fixed or random? It's definitely fixed. And how is that determined? You will be surprised to know that there are formulae to understand the dentition pattern in different animals including humans. Yes. They are called the dental formulae. The number and the arrangement of the teeth in the humans form the human dental formula. For an adult human mouth, the dental formula is given as 2123 by 2123. And how is that read? Take this representation for example. Here, let's focus on the upper jaw first. Here, if we divide the complete jaw in equal halves, we get two incisors, one canine, two premolars and three molars. So this makes up eight teeth on one side of the upper jaw. Same is the case with the other half. Yes, two, one, two, three. So eight and eight give us 16 teeth in the upper jaw. Now what about the lower jaw? If we carefully count, then the lower jaw also has two incisors, one canine, two premolars and three molars. So here as well, we get 16 teeth in total. And together, we get 32 teeth on adding the ones from both the jaws. Since we have two incisors, one canine, two premolars and three molars on both upper and the lower jaws on each side, we write the formula as 2123 by 2123. Now here, we have an image of an infant mouth with primary or the milk teeth. Can you tell me the dental formula for this arrangement? Okay, let me give you a hint. There are in total 20 milk teeth in infants. Now try cracking this interesting question and do leave your answers in the comments section below.